Hello everyone, and today we're taking a look at the Rosebud DOS virus. And this virus is a great example of a virus that doesn't take much coding experience to actually create. Because uh, in the late 80s and early 90s, the virus Jerusalem was incredibly widespread and infected thousands of PCs all across the globe. And as such, the source code invariably got released at various times in books or on BBS boards, and people would download it and tinker with it. And this virus is one such example of a Jerusalem clone, as you would. There's many variants of Jerusalem just because it was so widespread, people had access to it. So when we go ahead and run the virus, you see that it is claiming itself to be the Jerusalem Rosebud virus, but it might as well just be the Jerusalem virus because the only thing it changes is when it activates. So if we look at exe files, it will infect them. So we'll take a look at xcopy. Oops. Let's copy that exe. See it's 16,930 bytes. We run it, the virus infects it, and increases in size to 17,856, and activates whenever the date adds up to 30, so January 29th, February 28th, March 27th, etc. It will start deleting files. So as we may or may not know, the default DOS uh, comment when you enter an incorrect command it's bad commander file name however when we run a legitimate file on the payload date we see bad commander file name and command is capitalized which is from the original Jerusalem DOS virus didn't even bother to change the string and if we look come on all right see that that file is no longer there so this virus deletes everything as they run, just like Jerusalem does. So instead of Friday the 13th, which was the original Jerusalem payload date, this virus just activates whenever the date adds up to 30. Alright, so we're going to go on a little race here. We're going to see if we can destroy DOS in under 5 minutes. So we're going to try running all these files. Enjoy the Model M. Gotta keep looking to see the list getting smaller. smaller. Come on. I think that was spelled wrong. Yeah, it was. We got left. We got three things. All right. Got no more EXEs. Let's work on the com files because it may not infect the .com files, but it will delete them because Jerusalem does not care. While I'm doing this, I just want to thank everybody, by the way, for your great response to my Swiss next presentation. Seems like a lot of you guys really enjoyed it, which is great. So we'll delete the command interpreter. So the DOS directory is looking pretty empty. If we look in the main directory, we'll delete command interpreter. Oops, it's gone. So that kind of breaks DOS when you delete the command interpreter. So if we try to restart, it's not going to work very well. If I'd done it in a different order, I could have deleted the virus executable just right off the machine. So that's one way to disinfect your system from the Jerusalem virus, or the Rosebud virus. You can just uh, delete every single file off of it. And then you won't be carrying the virus anymore, but you won't be carrying any programs either, so... I guess it kind of works itself out in the end. So our command interpreter is gone. It's not going to come back out of thin air. And that's really about it for the Rosebud DOS virus.